Hi, my name is Dort and I'm back with another movie recommendation for you. I just got out of school, I'm done for the summer, I'm pretty sure I'm done forever and I'm pretty excited about that fact. So I decided to do a week of graduation movies. This movie is brought to you by my high school graduation. It is 2003's Eurotrip and in celebration of Eurotrip, I am taking the action figure up on his drink suggestion and trying the sangria. Because I have never tried it before and I want to try something new and I hope that you will join me in this. Now, there is a recipe, but I was a little too lazy for it, so I will leave the recipe in the description. However, I just went to the wine section and bought a bottle of sangria. <laughs> and then I added some fruit. Cheers to the summer. Cheers to graduation from college and graduation from high school, all of you out there, and I hope that you enjoy this movie recommendation. So let's drink to that. Mm. Mm -hmm. I thought it would be weird with the apple and the orange, but I like it. I like my nails too. Which is, I just did them today. And you would never know how gross they looked because I was really sober when I did them. And I usually do better after uh, like three or four glasses of wine. So, Eurotrip is starring. First of all, please forgive me for my pronunciation of these names. Starring Scott hmm, Mekwilwicks. <laughs> Jacob Pitts, Michelle Trachtenberg, Forever 16, you probably know her as Dawn from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I know her as that girl with the cast from Pete and Pete. And we will forever know her, henceforth, as the worst twin ever. Travis Wester, Jessica Bors, Bors? Bor Boriers, Boyers, Bors? Kristen Kruk or as we affectionately know her in our household as fucking Lana from Smallville. The will she, won't she girl. Will she get with Clark? Won't she get with Clark? With appearances by Matt Damon looking hotter than he's ever looked. I don't know, this look just really works on him. I have never been more turned on by Matt Damon ever in my life. And also you might see Lucy Lawless. You will probably best know her as Xena, the warrior princess. However, I will forever remember her as the van der Sex mistress, goddess of sex. Why did I do a creepy wink? I don't know. I don't know. But cheers to the creepy winks. Your Trip is a typical teen movie. No, it's not even a typical teen movie because this is rated R, which is really fantastic. And I think there are other movies out there that should have just gone with the R rating because let's face it, your target audience is all graduated anyways. And as long as you're 17 and up, you're welcome to see a rated R movie without parental guidance. So this movie came out the same year that I graduated. I had gotten my first job. I was working in a movie theater, so I actually saw it for free, which was pretty awesome. And I will never stop loving this movie because it's crazy times with alcohol, drunkenness, boobs, all over the place, boobs, so many penises. This movie, I think, is every teenager's wet dream. It is what every teenager would hope to do in Europe. It really is. And it's great because you see these teens' expectations, you see their expectations get stomped on, and then you see really awesome stuff happen to them. Basically what happens in this movie, what kicks it off, the lovable Scott is dumped by his girlfriend Fiona. And it is brutal. I mean, she does it in the worst way. It is public, his parents are there, they're recording the whole thing, and it is, I watch a lot of movies. And I watch a lot of TV shows. Of all the breakup scenes I've ever seen in movies, and in television thus far in my life, this one is the most brutal breakup I've ever seen. It's fantastic, and it's one that I love to quote 
again and again and again. Scotty's getting ready with his friend Cooper to go to the big graduation party. And he checks his email and he finds an email from his German pen pal from German class. And Cooper tells him that it's much more likely that this guy's a perv and he should just tell him to keep his hands off his genitals and to walk away from the situation. Which, later that night, when Scotty is trashed, he absolutely does. This is his pen pal, Mika, whom he had been calling Mike the whole time. Once he realizes his mistake, Scotty decides to go to Europe and win her back with the help of his friends, Jenny, Jamie, and Cooper, who decides that he is going to tag along to reclaim his sexual birthright. And on their way to Germany to meet Mika, they have many, many crazy adventures. It is funny as tonight I was watching the commentary, which I've never do. I never watch commentary. As much as I love special features, commentary is just really not my bag. And I was watching, they have a special party on commentary, which is really, really great. It's just the creators of the movie just getting really tossed because they've turned the movie into a drinking game and it is fantastic and I cannot wait to play the drinking game of the movie. But that is not even what's so special about this movie, the fact that you can get totally tossed following the rules that they have come up with. <laughs> if you haven't seen this movie, what are you waiting for? It is so funny. Just these teens in this out of control European situation. And if you have the opportunity to own it, I mean own a physical copy of it, do so. I love this movie because I love the music and I love the jokes. I love Cooper. Cooper is so funny. His I need to get out of the situation fast line is this isn't where I parked my car and I do that all the time. I'm constantly quoting him. Watch it for Lucy Lawless. Watch it for Matt Damon. There are just so many reasons I watch this movie and I recommend it to people and I get my friends in on it. Cooper is hands down my favorite character in this whole movie. This fool is a grifter and I freaking love it. He is one of the most wisecracking characters I've ever seen and he cracks me up every single time and he's very quotable and I want to know where he gets all his t-shirts. If it wasn't for this movie, I wouldn't have checked out the salads and gotten to hear songs like pee pee through my wee wee pee pee. I love that song. I don't know why. It's so weird, but I love that song. But their song in the movie is that one, everybody get loose tonight, put your hands in the air if you feel all right and they're all getting drunk and having a great time in a club. I love that song and I love the salads and I never would have heard that song or heard about the salads if it hadn't been for this movie because sometimes I don't watch the movie for the movie. Sometimes there's really bad movies out there, but I will watch them again and again simply because I like the music that's in them. And this movie has it all. It's got jokes, it's got robot fights, it's got romance, it's got boobs, it's got a ton of drinking. There is a really fantastic scene in the movie where they all go to a nude beach. Jamie tries to get them to go see some monument, but the dudes are like, no, we want to see boobs. And so they go to this beach and they get there and they're very disappointed with the turnout, which is really fantastic. But more importantly, Cooper asks what I believe to be a really good question. And I'm curious as to what the answer to this is. So if you know, if you have an answer, if you've been to a nude beach, please let me know in the comments below. Cooper asks what the etiquette on boners is. He asks if it's cool to let your flag fly or do you roll over and dig a hole for it in the sand? <laughs> and I, <laughs> I need to know the answer to this. I don't know. I've never been to a nude beach. It's not likely I will ever get to go to a nude beach. So if you have any idea what boner etiquette is at a nude beach, let me know. I'm curious. Leave it in the comments. Be appropriate, but leave it in the comments. What What do you do at a nude beach? Or are you just like that in control? I don't know. It's those kinds of jokes that keep me going back again and again and again. I also really love the Vonder sex scene where Lucy Lawless... 
where Lucy Lawless is talking to Cooper and Cooper's got a flyer for the club and all the other prostitutes are around them and they're looking at him and he holds up the flyer and he says it says I get a free t-shirt at which point Lucy says he is American and that kind of satire just cracks me up all the time the fact that only an American would be like oh free t-shirt give me give me that I will do anything for a free t-shirt and the reason it's so funny is because I mean just look at things like comic-con what wouldn't we do for a free t-shirt at comic-con it's ridiculous and I, I don't know if that's only an American thing maybe you guys know but it just seems downright American to me so that kind of thing really cracks me up every time if you're 17 and older, if you've just graduated, oh my gosh, rent it, watch it, celebrate the summer, celebrate school being out, celebrate graduation, and before you go to Europe, watch this movie. I'd say if there's one, one movie you watch on graduation day, post-college, post-high school, I say let it be this one. It's about hope, it's about love, it's about friendship. It's about adventure. It's about changing who you are for the better. It's fun not to drink too. It's just an all around good movie. So I highly, highly recommend it. I really hope you go pick it up. Um, if you do, or if you've already seen it, please let me know in the comments below. If you have any drink or movie suggestions, I would love to hear them and try them for myself because I like to have a little adventure in my life. And if you have any questions, concerns, moans, groans, whines, or complaints, those can go right down there with the drink suggestions. Otherwise, I hope that you liked this video. If you did and you'd like to see more, please like and subscribe. Please, if you're taking my drink suggestions, be 21, be responsible, don't drink and drive because I care about you guys and I just want to share the good feelings with the drinks and the movies and that's all I want is for you to enjoy yourself and to have an amazing weekend. So I will see you on Friday with another movie recommendation. Have a great night. I hope you enjoy the movie. My name is Dor and I'm checking out. Bye.